Hi, I'm Keti Sharif. Welcome to my video seminar, The Traditional Arts of Egypt, Music Mulids and Folk Dances. The Traditional Arts of Egypt aims to bring elements of culture, history, geography and the arts into perspective. Many of the images and research in this seminar are from my last 20 years of living and researching in Egypt, particularly from archiving the works of legendary Egyptian dance pioneers Farida Fahmi and Mahmoud Reda. People became acquainted with the wonderful dance traditions we had that they knew nothing about. And from organising the Sphinx festivals with artists, researchers and live music. Some of the research also comes from my arts degree where I studied Islamic art history and culture. Egypt's arts are vibrant celebrating the culture and they also integrate influences from many other cultures and trade. Egypt has been the world's cultural melting pot since the earliest of times and in many ways it still reflects a civilization that integrates foreign influences yet also retains a strong sense of cultural identity. The tradition of mulids being held in Egypt can be traced as far back as to the pharaonic times when living men were worshipped as pharaohs and there were communal processions around the religious rites. Today saints and martyrs have replaced the pharaonic deities but these mulids still continue in Egypt, up to 3,000 of them every year. In 332 BC, Egypt was conquered by Macedonian-born leader Alexander the Great and the civilization became a part of the Greek Empire. The artwork of the time reflects Christian ideals of artistry but superimposed onto the existing pharaonic art of the time. The Siwa oasis east of the Libyan border is one of Egypt's most isolated settlements, mainly inhabited by Berbers. Plastic pieces looking like tooth that reminds one of uh, pre-dynastic uh, uh, and um, how do you call almost uh, Neolithic um, jewelry, where uh, you used a lot of bones and a lot of uh, uh, pieces of, uh, of tooth of animals and so on. Dakhla Oasis lies in the New Valley Governorate. It lies between the oases of Farafra and Kharga. The first contacts between the pharaonic power and the oases started around 2550 BC. And this, believe it or not, is a pharaonic headdress. Remember when you look at uh, the Sphinx, what we call the, the head here, called the Nemes. The city of al -Arish is on the Mediterranean coast in the northern Sinai. In early 1967, read as documenting of the al Dahiya, a traditional dance took place in al Arish. Mersa Matruh holds several traditions indigenous to the remote region. Public recognition of adulthood can bring teens together in a commemorative dance with a playful Libyan-influenced Hagala. Farida Fahmi details her first-hand experience as a witness of a dance event that remained vivid in her memory. Ancient Asiut was the capital of Upper Egypt around 3100 BC, located on the western bank of the Nile. They generally speak Saidi Arabic, a colloquial form of the Egyptian language. They're known for their stories, satiric folk songs and good humour. The oldest traces of Taktib were found on engravings from the archaeological site of Abu Sir. 
This martial art was theatricized and made into a dance for stage by the famous Egyptian choreographer Mahmoud Reda. <laughs> In Cairo, dancing can be seen everywhere, and many styles, social, indigenous, traditional, folkloric, theatre dance, rakshai, cabaret, contemporary dance, and even today shabi can be seen in many places. It's very much a social custom to dance, although publicly a lot of people don't encourage their daughters to become dancers, they still do really enjoy the art of dancing. Mawasha Hat Rakisa was a suite of dances choreographed by Mahmoud Reda and presented by Farida Fahmi and the Reda Troupe for an Egyptian television production by Ali Reda. In Egyptian Arabic, the word baladi does not only apply to music and dance, it can also apply to many other things that are considered native, rural, rustic or traditional. For example, baladi bread or different kinds of food, mostly fruits and vegetables. Baladi music is an urban folk style which developed from traditional Egyptian musical styles in the early 20th century. Arabic music is usually said to have begun in the 7th century in Syria during the Umayyad dynasty. Mm -hmm. 